nothing will happen to your driver's license if within 10 days of your arrest, you or better your attorney requests an administrative hearing from the Department of Motor Vehicles. Uh, that has to happen within 10 days of your arrest, and that's 10 calendar days, and the arrest date is day zero, so the day after is day one. So that gets requested, and what that will do is that will take the 30-day temporary license that the cops have given you or the jail has given you. It's a pink sheet. It says order of suspension, and that will extend it. That will get you what's called a stay of suspension, and you can keep driving while your case is going on. Now, what happens, though, is some people don't meet that deadline. And if the DMV won't give them a belated hearing, and that can be hard to get from the DMV, you got to have a good excuse. Then after 30 days of arrest, your license will go into suspension. And the question is, can I get a restricted license? You can get a restricted license at this point. You have to be enrolled in the DUI school and have additional high-risk SR-22 insurance. If you do all that and get an ignition interlock device on the car, then you can go to DMV and request that restricted license. And, uh, you know, if you're in that period from it's been 10 days and you didn't request a hearing, and so you're going to get suspended at the 30-day mark, you might as well get that interlock license Uh, or that interlock installed on your car and your SR-22 and enrolled in a DUI school as quick as possible. Now, this is something that I don't recommend that people just try and do on their own because there's different schools. Some are online, some are in person, some take a long time to enroll in. There's different types of insurance companies to deal with. You may not want to tell your Carrier, you may want to use different insurance, separate insurance for the SR-22, and not all ignition interlock companies are alike. So some are, I'm not a fan of really any of them, but some are better than others. So I would talk to an experienced DUI lawyer if you're in this situation regarding the status of your license, trying to get the uh, restricted license. You can also uh, try and go another route which is if you want to wait 30 days and you can get a work-restricted license. The problem, however, if you go on a first offense DUI and get this restriction and your court case is going on and you're, you just you miss the deadline on the DMV case, you're going to end up being uh, restricted longer than the minimum you would um, once your court case is over because that's going to add to it. You're not going to get credit for it, which is silly. It's ridiculous law. But we're dealing with DMV and law as they've interpreted it. So here we go. Once again, um, you know, DMV stands for a lot of things. I'm not going to say them out loud, but uh, you can go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks.